5,000 subscribers. I'm gonna be honest, y'all. I actually can't believe it. This is something I only ever dreamed about. I made this channel when I was a senior in high school. And after countless rant videos that never went anywhere and random funny moments that were just dog shit because I didn't know how to edit. I gave up for a while. I, I really did. I, like, I wasn't posting. I, I literally gave up. And then one faithful day on Red Dead Redemption where I just wanted to get online and just grind out some money. And just so happened to spawn at Rhodes and see our boy Uncle Daddy in the gang just being some fucking role players. And who knew that that would actually make this channel take off in the direction that it has. It's been a lot of ups, and there hasn't really been any downs, it's just been like a constant high. It's crazy to see how I was stuck at 300 subscribers for about a year or two, and then just out of nowhere, it all just exploded. It feels crazy. They really do. I can't believe I'm finally able to say that I have 5,000 subscribers. That might not be a big number, and in the grand scheme of things, it's really not. But it's a crazy accomplishment for myself that I could only ever dream of having. But we all made it happen. I may talk a lot of shit and shout a lot of slurs and just be a terrible individual when I'm on this game, but it's really been fun. Even though this game's current state is really not the best and it could be 10 times, 100 times better, this game literally changed my life and it's really crazy to think that. It blows my mind every day that I can look at my YouTube sub count or YouTube views or just read all the positive comments that are left over me and my friends just being assholes on a video game. And it's weird that it took this long for me to do this because we've been doing this for years. <laughs> uh, me and above, we've been talking shit to people for over 10 years now. None of this would have happened if me and above didn't decide to start a crew on GTA one time. So here we are, 5,000 subscribers later. Hundreds of thousands of views, probably over a million now, but I have so many private videos, but you know, those don't fucking count. I have no plans of stopping. I feel like the only place I can go is up. No matter how many people try to use my name for something. No matter how many people try to use my name for something that it's not. I feel like what I've accomplished on this game is unmatched by anyone else. Now you might say that other people have seen more success than me and that might be true, but nobody did it the way I did it. Nobody has the courage to do what I do the way I do it. I'm gonna let you interpret that the way you want. But I've been asked this question for two years now. Who the fuck is Roland? Why do I keep calling people Roland? Well, if we're gonna find out, we gotta rewind the clock back to 2010. So back in the day, I was a young buck sitting in class, and then these two people in my class, you know, we were, we were cool with each other, but you know, it's not like we hung out all the time. They came up to me, and you know, we were chatting for a bit, and for the sake of this story, we're gonna call them Jenny and Jacob, because I'm not gonna say their real names, except for Roland, because fucking fuck that guy, dude. And then we got to talking about what new games were coming out. Cause you know, that was the only thing these motherfuckers could relate to me with. And I was like, yeah, I'm looking forward to Tekken Tag Tournament too. That shit gonna be the shit. And then homegirl popped up and she was like, oh my God, you play Tekken? You have Tekken 6? Now at the time, this is when I first started to get really good at Tekken. So I felt like I had something to prove right here. And thanks to my boy Kami, cause he taught me the ways of Jin Kazama back in the day. Man, turned me into a beast. And I was like, yeah, I'll be using Jin Kazama, Armor King, Miguel, Yoshimitsu. And then this motherfucker Jacob pops up. Man, my Brian Fury will whoop all them, though. And I was like, what's up? Y'all ain't trying to get down tonight, though. 
And then they were like, oh man, we be playing every day. We got a little group we play with. Now, little did I know at the time, there was this little after school club and motherfuckers would go in there and play Tekken and just throw hands with each other. And that homegirl was telling me, oh yeah, we got a little group of five we play with. It's me, Jacob, and these three other guys. She started listing names and then that's when she said it. Do you know Roland? Now at this time, I had never met Roland. I have only ever heard of Roland. So I had no classes with Roland. I don't even think I had lunch with Roland. But apparently he went to the same school as us. I just never interacted with this motherfucker that I heard about. I was like, all right, bet. I'll see y'all on tonight. Now they were hyping me up and they were like, yo, Roland's like the best player, y'all. He fucks us up. And I was like, bet. I got both their PSN usernames and I added them as soon as I got home. So I got on that night. I was hella excited. I was ready to get down on some Tekken. And that's when I seen Jenny online and she was in a Tekken 6 lobby and I messaged her and I was like, yo, let's get it. So she sends me the invite and we're about to get down and I'm fucking ready. So we get in there and it's just us two in the lobby at first. And I was like, hell yeah, because low key, I wanted to fuck this bitch. But um, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. So we're playing, you know, we're going back and forth. I'm doing a little bit of flirting, you know, kind of just throwing in some shit about school at the time, you know, just so I don't seem like a fucking asshole. And then somebody else joins the lobby and it's fucking Roland. Now I was cordial to Roland at first. I had never met Roland. I had only heard about him, like I said, and he comes in there and he's fucking one of those guys that's got to blast his music on the microphone for everybody else to hear. So Jenny introduces us and we start getting down on some games, you know, and at, and at this point, you know, the lobby's starting to fill up, you know? So we got a whole bunch of people from my school. We're all just getting down. It's like six of us in the lobby at this point. Now I had muted Roland's loud ass fucking microphone with his shit music in the background. And let's be honest, y'all, this is like 2011, okay? So these microphones ain't even good. The PSN, it doesn't have party chat. You gotta deal with the shitty ass game chat. It fucking barely works as is. And then that's when I pulled off this king grab on his ass. Now if you don't know, this king grab has a lot of extensions and it does a lot of damage if you don't break it. And I hit Roland with it and this motherfucker was pissed. So after that match, that boy Jacob, he was like, yo, James, uh, Roland wants you to unmute him real quick. And I was like, okay, yeah, for sure. So I unmute Roland and I'm like, yo, what's up, man? He's like, yo, don't fucking think you're good because you can do that grabbing bullshit. And I was like, huh? And he was like, yeah, you just kept fucking grabbing me the whole time. And I was like, well, I play grapplers. That's, uh, that's kind of the point of the character, dude. He's no, no, you can't beat me without that bullshit and you know it. And I was like, oh, okay, dude. So if you don't know about Tekken or just fighting games, period, once you lose, you are technically at the back of the bus. You got to sit there and you got to watch everybody else fight before you get your turn again. It's like a king of the hill, basically. So I was putting on a clinic. I was clearly the best player here, but I wasn't here to gloat or nothing. You know, I still got to see these people every single day in real life. So Roland comes around again, and I know he was pissed off about me throwing his ass because he don't break throws. Now, if you don't know in Tekken, you can break every single throw. There is a visual indicator that tells you what throw is coming. It is your job to be a good player and break it. I was like, eh, you know what? I'm gonna use Jin Kazama on him this time. Now, Jin Kazama is a striker. He is not a grappler. He has grabs, but so does every other character, but it is not his specialty like Armor King. Now this is the first game I had Roland unmuted as we were playing. And this motherfucker was so annoying about everything. If you kick him low, oh, I blocked that. If you throw him up, oh, I tech that throw. If you hit him with a launch, oh, that's bullshit. I was blocking. He was one of those motherfuckers. He could never just take that L. Now I heard before that he was the best player. So I assume he, he was not accustomed to losing in this group. So I eventually lose to that bitch Jenny I was telling y'all about. She played Christy Montero and I was low key happy she beat me cause then she was gonna give me shit about it and that mean I get to talk to her more. And uh, I was heavy trying to get with her because I did not know a lot of girls that play video games at the time. And especially ones that look good because you know, she was pretty fucking good looking. So then Roland had to open up his mouth one more time. And he was like, oh, see, you got your ass beat by a girl. I knew you sucked. And I was like, oh, it ain't that serious, bro. But I'm glad you feel some type of way about it. And this motherfucker was like, watch, I'm gonna get you when we go to school tomorrow. And I was like, all right, bro, you do that. And then it occurred to me one day and I was like, you know, I don't even know what this motherfucker Roland looks like. So he really could gank my shit without even me knowing it. 
but he never really did anything so we kind of just put it aside and we played a few more times and he was always full of excuses every single time if you fucking block something that he thought should have hit he let you know about it if you hit him with something that he thinks he shouldn't have got hit by he let you know it he was basically a red dead competitive player before red dead competitive was even a thought in anyone's mind now after a while i kind of stopped playing with these guys because I was never able to fuck that bitch Jenny and I was pretty upset about it at the time. And then Roland just kind of faded off away into existence. I don't really talk to anybody from that group anymore, but what does this have to do with Red Dead? How did this come back into my mind? Well, now we need to fast forward the clock to 2018. So I was watching some of Trey Flocka's videos and I was just binge watching him because you know, Trey Flocka, he's a funny guy. He's a huge inspiration on me. He's one of the people that inspired me to come back to start doing YouTube in 2019 after I was on a break for probably about two years and I had given up all dreams. And he was just roasting people on Call of Duty and then that's when he said it. Roland, your ass. And then when I heard that I just kind of cracked up because just reminded me of this motherfucker that I whooped on Tekken one time and he was really pissed off about it. And you know, It was just something I started saying as well because of him. Well. I've had people asking me for over a year now, who is Roland? Why do I keep saying Roland? Now you know. And I really never thought I'd be able to say I hit 5,000 subscribers, to be honest. And I guess I really just want to say thank you. Regardless of any negative around my name or any controversy that I create, you guys really stuck with me through all the bullshit. So, thank you. Really, thank you. See you later, guys. I'm a vice lord with a stand dog. I got plenty of money. What is he in for? I got a main bitch and a side hoe. But she talked to much. I had to drop the hoe. That damn same. I know plenty of niggas, but these niggas ain't real, man. Damn same. I know plenty of bitches, but these bitches ain't real, man. If, if, if you ain't talking money, I don't wanna talk. South Memphis be my hood just like my nigga Joe. If you ain't talking money, I don't wanna speak. You, you feel some type of way, I let that chopper speak. That beat shit, you don't wanna go. You a soft nigga and designer cross. I got a hundred rounds plus a hundred more. You a hundred nigga, that's a hundred hoes. What, what I need a shirt for? What I need a shirt for? All these fucking tattoos on me, what I need a shirt for? What I need a shirt for? What I need a shirt for? MGK nigga paid the way, so what I need a shirt for? What I need a strap for? What I